Hey folks, this is a really quick demo to answer a question that came in on one of my videos from a viewer. Wanted to know, can you make a turntable in a level sequence? And yes, you can. So I'm going to make this uh, chair turn uh, as a turntable. So I'm going to create a level sequence. I made a folder already called turntables. I'm going to right click, go to animation, go to level sequence to create a new one. I'll call it uh, chair turntable as level sequence and double click that to open it in sequencer then grab your chair and you need to whatever you're going to animate in the sequencer you need to add it here i'm going to add actor to sequence the chair so now the chair is something that can be animated in this level sequence i'll say this first frame is well actually i'm going to zero it out so let me open up the transform data in this case turntable is just going to be rotation on z which in this case they call it yaw. So I'm gonna go to the yaw here and I'm just gonna type zero to set it to zero because it's easier math for me for this demo. And at frame zero here, I'm going to click, this is the key right here. You gotta hit that little button to set a key on just this channel. All right, so that set a keyframe here. Now, if you wanted to take, oh, I don't know, five seconds to spin, jump out to 120 and then set your yaw or rotation in Z to 360, right? So it lands on the same place. Uh, you might have to do a little math if you gotta subtract three degrees, depending on how you're trying to get your turntable to line up, if it's gonna be continuous spin. Anyway, here is the end of that. I'm gonna drag this just to match. So I got uh, five seconds there, I hit play, and you see you get a spin of your chair. However, you'll notice the default, similar to Maya, is that the animation eases in and out. So what you wanna do is, you probably want it linear if it's gonna be spinning again and again and again. There's a hotkey to do that, but let me just show you the long way so that you can also see the interface for the curve editor. So hit this button here to open up the curve editor. And then you'll see here is your curve, which is why it's slowly spinning and then slowly stopping. So select your curve. And if you want it linear, just jump up here and you could hit the four key as it shows here, or just hit that button. Now it's going to be a linear uh, animation and you can close this. Now, when I go back to the beginning and play and let it go, it is a continuous linear spin and it should hook up with the other end uh, if you trim off the last frame technically so you don't get the stutter. And then uh, if you think, what's nice is if you think uh, it's a little too fast, a little too slow, all you need to do is just move your keyframe. You know, if you move it a lot closer, then you're gonna get a really fast spinning chair. And same thing goes, if you want it longer, just drag it the other way. So Travis, there's your answer. That's how you can use the uh, sequencer uh, to quickly create a furniture turntable. Cheers.